This is Gary Holt. And this is Vincent Castiglio. And you are watching Artisan News. <laughs> First off, I'd like to say this is just like such an incredible honor. First off, painting this piece for Gary, but then painting it in his blood. I mean, it's like working with blood of the gods, you know. Oh, stop or it. Demon blood. I should this is the god here, you know. I mean, I'm able to go out on stage with like a real genuine work of art that I'm able to plug into a, a shit ton of amplifiers and like and use it as a tool you know it's not just a a wall hanging hanging you know it's not something i mean granted it would look beautiful on any wall but that's not what it was built for it was built to for destruction you know and uh, but it, it's it's a thing of beauty it's it's something that's like breathtaking and it's drawn a crowd everywhere it, you know i've gone with that guitar on this tour since it it made its debut in chicago and it, it's just phenomenal you know it's one of the most talked about guitars I've ever seen out there, you know, in the blogosphere. And, you know, uh, working on this project was really unique. I mean, it was the first time uh, I had painted an instrument for anyone. And once again, painting it in Gary's blood, it, uh, it definitely influenced the piece. It inspired it. It lent force to it. And... Uh, um, there were a lot of nuances to working on this surface that I was unfamiliar with, so it was like, you know, a whole new world. It was like, it felt like, uh, I don't know, it was just uncharted territory. And, uh, but once, you know, I got it to start working and I had to treat the surface in certain ways to get it to stay there, uh, you know, once I got it to stay, put the blood, uh, I just really just went for the throat in terms of detail, and uh, and we got the eclipse. Yeah, and it shows, you know. And uh, it was yeah, it was a learning experience, you know. How, how do I paint on a on a basically a wooden surface? You know, it's not canvas, you know. Once he figured it out, you know, the the secret, you know, the trick to doing it, then it was like full speed ahead from there. Yeah. And, and, and how did you guys develop? Well, we both knew we didn't want like a Halloween devil on it, you know. Sure. I wanted biblical Lucifer, you know. And, you know, he did like one, one version and it was so awesome. But I thought he needed to look a little prettier, you know, because Lucifer was a, uh, he was a beautiful angel, you know. And, uh, and I think you used uh, some reference points as like some Michelangelo stuff like that. And, um, and it was perfect, you know. Wanted that very Roman Sistine Chapel look to it. And it's fucking awesome. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it needed to be a classical piece of artwork for a classic, you know, yeah. uh, musician. And uh, what, what else did I want to say? Um, yeah, so for me, the concept of an instrument being painted in the musician's blood is just like mind-blowing because... Everything that we are constitutionally, what makes us human, what makes us us individually, genetically speaking, is contained within the blood. This is Gary's life's work, uh, rendered in his life's blood and communicating sounds which tie into the work. So it's just like uh, uh, a very surreal project and one I was like just so so happy and, and honored yeah. to work. And I'm, on, I'm honored to be able to strap that thing on every night and play it. You know, it's like, 
you know, it feels good.